All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Happy Monday. We're back. The new month has started. November is here, and we're one day away, finally getting over with this whole election thing. So uh, I personally think it's going to be a exciting, not uh, the fourth, okay? Because from where they they're making it sound like the election might not be resolved probably another couple of days maybe even longer with all these mail and bouts so that's going to make this market so volatile you're going to see one industry moving and the other industry moving and whatever or if it's a blowout then obviously we'll find out so looking forward to it we'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow but i want to get straight to what's going on uh today um i don't know what's going on with all these damn electric company stocks I mean, we're looking at NEO. NEO had some really good news. What was the news on it? Uh, NEO shares traded higher after the company announced it had delivered 5,000 vehicles in October 2020, which represent an increase of 100% from year to year. Wow, that's a lot of cars. You know what's amazing? I didn't even know there was that many cars. I mean, I knew about the NEO, which you had to, it's that Chinese copycat of uh, Tesla. But there's so many of them out there. There's a few of them that are moving. Um, I mean, we have them all in there. We've been talking about them for a while. Let me just bring some of them up. Which one did we have? We had LI. Okay, hold on. LI. Um, this stock is a new public. They're all going public, by the way. LI. Uh, XPEV is another one. You could see they're like all IPOs. They had something to do with it. What else was there? Uh, a workhorse. W H K K H S. It's another one. You can see they're up uh, big solo. Another one. And uh FSR is actually the new one that just came out. That was the new um that new IPO that just came public. That one's doing pretty decent. The only one that hasn't really been moved is uh Nikola. He killed it on Nikola. That was a fun stock. I'm gonna need to go back and, and talk about that one. But there's just so many of them out there. I mean, like, it's listen. It's this that's obviously, you know, you saw the Hummer commercial came out. GE's getting into it. Um, a lot of them are getting into it. So we'll see what ends up happening. And uh, what else we had? So anyway, before we start going into the watch list and so on, just want to touch upon last week what happened. So we have a new, a lot of bunch of new people that are starting here at Cybertrain University. Hold on, let me share my screen a little bit bigger so people on YouTube and Facebook Live could see. We had a lot of people that started uh, um, that are starting today. So listen, just regarding everybody that's new here at Cybertrain University, that is in the Cyber Group room. And if you're on YouTube, you want to get in, just click on the bottom and like us, we'll get you in. But um, all you have to do is look, listen, and learn. And I will repeat this, and then you're going to hear from the instructors in the room. Do not, and I repeat, do not buy anything that we're doing we did not train you you don't know why we're buying it why we're selling it all you're looking to do is to judge us on our losers and how few we have that's the only thing the reason why you're here okay and you want to see how everyone interacts with each other and we don't tell them what to do they already know what to do and and hopefully you're going to be that lucky one that's going to be like you know what? i could do this too all right so regarding about last week there was a couple of stocks that we traded um you know, the market was so damn volatile last week. Where are we at right now? I mean, are we up or down? I think we're up a little bit now. But we had, the market was just like, we had some crazy volatility. It all had to do about the coronavirus. You knew they were not going to get this budget resolved. I mean, come on. It sounded great. But come on, two weeks before the, three weeks before the election, a month before the election, it's not happening. But they will come up probably within the next week or so. So the market's up really nice. We're up 340, 45% today. Uh, points up on the Dow. So that looks pretty good. Um, as long as I told you this earlier, as long as we stay above 26,000, that's, that is a, like a major, major, major support level. You do not want to break past that. But uh, a couple of stocks that we traded just at, at last week, just want to talk about Twitter. That stock just getting hammered and it's getting hammered again. Um, let me just tell you what I think is going to happen, which I was talking to a bunch of traders over the weekend. You know, I live, I'm surrounded in, in a community of all of market makers and traders. If Trump gets elected, um, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google, all these stocks might get crushed because, you know, after what happened with all the, you know, you know, being on Congress and what happened with censoring, you know, they're going to want to get rid of that 250 rule. And um, believe me, they're going for the kill because so I would be really cautious that if some of you own this as a swing trade, you can see Twitter's obviously, I think Twitter's the most hated 
company in the Republican Party, actually. So it's been a great short for us, you know. But if he does win, um, let me tell you, be careful of these stocks because they're gonna they're gonna go after him really, really hard. And uh it's gonna it's gonna really kind of more or less hurt them, you know, regarding about legation or something like that. And you know what? It's not even that. I think what's gonna happen is I think Google's might get hurt too a little bit, or maybe even a lot. You know, if you ever do a search and forget about the politics part of it, but you ever notice like anybody can write anything bad about anybody and it always shows up on the top, you know, like, but anything that's good doesn't even show up about, you know, listen, they're, they're, they're extortionists out there that will just write bad about anybody, even about us, CTU, they'll do it. Just, just, it could be competitors, it could be whatever, just jealous people. I've been extorted so many times by companies, um, but, um, but they're going to get rid of that. They're going to, they're going to go after that because you know, it's not about freedom of speech. They're going to go after these companies. And I think that's also, I think that's really part of it. And not only it's for Republicans, Democrats too. They also feel the same thing because they're all being harassed. So I think these stocks are going to have some big, big issues depending after this election. But, um, but let's let, let me tell you this, this rally or crash could go on for a couple of days. So let's see what happens for tomorrow. But um, <laughs> Twitter though, uh, obviously really getting pretty hammered, pretty big. TCDA. There's another one that was also, we traded last week and BLRX. That also stock went from like $2 to $3. You can look at the long-term chart. Stock did pretty well too. I'm going to probably throw this back on my watch list because this one looks pretty, not bad. BLRX. Another huge winner of last week for some of you that were not here was Pinterest. Pinterest, we killed it last uh, last week. We a lot of us own it right around thirty five dollars. Stock ran almost to seventy. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I I, I thought the stock was going to break out, but once it broke that ma- once it broke that major support level, the gap fill, I kind of got out. I got out right around sixty three. I could have got out at sixty eight, but I, I wrote it down. But you know what? Great traders never buy at the bottom, sell at the top. We always buy in between. Still a fan of Pinterest. But I just telling everybody I sold it. I got out of it. Uh, one easy trade over the weekend, which I think a lot of you did jump in, was basically Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts got bought out. Um, Who ever thought like Arby's? Would buy? <laughs> which they own a bunch of stuff. They own Sonic. They own everything else. But, you know, they're going to go private. And uh, Dunkin' Donuts, congratulations to all the employees. I love to hear companies that get bought out. That's what corporate America is all about, you know, being public. And that's why a lot of companies like to come to the United States and run in our stock market because they get these opportunities. And these co- the stock did really well. You could have bought it um, on Friday. And you could see, I'm going to just fix the chart, make it two days so you guys can see a little bit better. But that stock literally gapped up about five, six bucks. So that was a nice little win. It was expensive, but it was almost like, it was almost like a 90% guarantee. So, I mean, you know what? Buy on rumors, sell on news. All right, what else we got going on? So a couple of stocks we're going to keep on. We're going to keep an eye on all those, uh, all those, what you call all this, all those electric car companies. A couple other ones that did make the uh, the A list, ABIO. So this one, you know, this stock. A lot of you remember the stock. We traded it back in June. It ran from seven, ran to twenty two. Was a great short squeeze. She's up a little bit. She's testing some support levels. I saw some iceberg orders right around here. I want to keep an eye on that. I'm also going to keep an eye on LU. We did really well with that on Friday, right at the open. But stock has got nasty shakes, guys. Be careful. You know everything about the shake students. They they, they go out there and uh, you, you, you got to know how to play the shakes. That's why you can't go broke always taking a profit. There was another stock this morning, but she's pretty much died. I don't know what happened with this stock. But SI, um, ISIG, I saw it earlier this morning. Had a nice pop, 90 cents to a buck 30. She's got some big support levels here at a buck, but uh, is the penny stock, so be very careful. That one, what else that we had here? The ANPC, it's another one I found this morning. A lot of volume trading on the stock, 5 million shares. It's an algo stock, so we all know about how trading algos. It's holding pretty here, kind of flat right here on 425. She's, you know, she's trading you know, within that range, 25, 450. She breaks out just right below 450. If they could take that iceberg order, the stock could really kind of take off. And uh, what else we had? I think we did. We said, did we, did we bring up the BDVA? BT? That was another one, right? So that one also, 
I think it's a, I think it's a buyout too from the way it looks like. If it's not really going anywhere, but listen, it's Monday, and let me tell you something. It's the day before an election. I'm telling you, a lot of people are not going to do anything crazy. You're not going to see a lot of news come out, you know, regarding about companies buyouts or earnings or whatever it is. But keep an eye on the industries. You know, we've been talking about for two months now. And you can go back and go on YouTube and you can look at the, the classes, the industries to look out for. So it could be a very fun, volatile market. But just remember all you cyber traders out there, okay? Word of wisdom. Take the money and run. Do not fall in love until somebody gets elected, you know, and then you and you see that industry. Then you could think about a swing trade or an investment down the road. But as of right now, it is going to be one hell of a roller coaster ride. All right. So I don't know where the hell we're going regarding about uh, with, with this, but let's not get too crazy. And it is Monday. We all know about Mondays. There's not a lot of action going on. All right. So let's also be careful of that. So, yeah, so listen, cash is king, and that's what you got to focus on. All right, guys, so um, you got the watch list. Be careful, be safe, and uh, for everybody here, we'll be back here at 2.30, and we'll see how we'll trade the afternoon. We'll see how things work out, but I, I expect it's going to be pretty exciting. A lot of fireworks going on this week. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Be safe.